It's all about that next challenge in rooftop parkour, really. Uh, just pushing your limits. It's really, you just gotta ask yourself that question, how far can I go? How far can I push my mental and emotional barriers? And that's really what rooftop parkour is all about. That's like the why behind all, like, all, all the daring, all the danger, you know? It's just about pushing our limits. It's just a super cool feeling to be in the air going over, you know, something that if you fall, you could, you know, die or, I don't know, get paralyzed, you know, best case scenario, you're getting paralyzed and, you know, just seeing, seeing that that's what you're jumping over is, it's, a, it's definitely a scary thing, but it's a very cool feeling. We get a lot of pushback on social media from what we post. We get a lot of comments like, oh, you're crazy. You're gonna kill yourself. But the reality is we're not just these daredevil guys throwing ourselves from buildings. There's, there's so much more to it than that. And um, that's what we made this video for because we want to show that. We want to show people what it's really about. We want to show people what really goes on in our heads and what really goes on when we're up there on the roofs. It's really a challenging thing that we put a lot of time into. What people don't see is the months and years of preparation that we do on the ground. We train so hard on the ground. You're not gonna do a move over a roof gap with a death drop until you can hit it every single time on the ground. Like there's no way, that just doesn't make sense. As far as rooftop, parkour goes, a lot of people ask, you know, why do you do it? Why do you go and risk your life for something stupid, for this little thrill, for this little three second clip of you jumping between two structures? And, you know, sometimes I, I wonder that myself, but then I realize that really it's about that progression. It's about, you know, getting better and, and pushing yourself to different limits, to different heights, and it's not, it's not a thing of, oh, I want to be a daredevil. It's not a thing of, I want to go and risk my life because it's cool or because I want to show what I can do. It's, it's more, I want to be able to know my limits. I want to be able to push past my limits. <laughs> Convention Center was a really fun experience. It was something that was definitely new for me. Um, my background, I come from more of a free running, tricking background, but kind of as I've trained with Peter, he's, he's changed me and uh, he told me about this roof gap and at first I was very nervous and kind of shaking. I didn't know, you know what to think about it because I had never done anything up to that point like that. And um, he told me it was on top of the convention center and just kind of like, as he said that, I was like, oh shoot, like this is, this is gonna be a little bit scary. So I went to check out a stairwell and ended up walking out right on this dude who was standing there and he kind of just turned like right at me. And so this guy looked, looked right at him and we were, we were a little sketched out because we're like, okay, this guy knows we're here. He knows that we're probably not supposed to be here. So we were just like, okay, let's still try and get on the roof, get the shot. So I slammed the door, run over to Peter. We go hide for a sec and then came back out. Things were all right, so uh, we decided to do the climb. So you have to push yourself up between these two exit signs and then slowly reach up and grab onto the, the stairs and then pull yourself up onto the stairwell. And then you're on the roof. Oh, hey. Yes, it's gonna work. As soon as we got on, 
realized that he had come out on the patio, so just kind of waited it out. It was fun, but for me, kind of sitting there, just waiting out the gap and knowing what the gap looked like, um, there's definitely a lot going through my mind. Finally, the guy leaves, so we're like, all right, well, let's hit it. So Peter goes first, I, I filmed it, saw him do it, and kind of, I got butterflies myself just watching him and uh, getting up on that little ledge, you know, it's, I mean, maybe a foot and a half tops, like wide, and it's, you know, this very skinny ledge, super high off the ground. It's kind of a sketchy thing, you know, but as soon as I got to the, the takeoff of the gap, I just kind of stood there and took a deep breath, looked down at the gap, look over at where I was going to jump and um, just went for it. And honestly, it's, it's the coolest feeling hitting that first gap and really any gap after that. Then we made our way down the stairs. We were being really quiet and we saw this dude walk out into the stairwell and he looked at us and we just, we were gone after that. Like we didn't want to like have anything to do with him. So we just ran out of the building. We were all excited. It was, it was a good feeling. Oh, it feels great. That was actually my first roof gap. So it's always good to progress a little bit. Personally for me, when I started getting into parkour and free running, um, I didn't realize how much actually goes into doing it. Um, I mean, that just that one day at the convention center, we got, you know, we were there for a two second clip. That was it. That's all we really got out of it. You know, two seconds each, it's only four seconds worth of, I mean, we we're out looking, trying to get there for probably an hour in total, just walking around, trying to figure out what we were doing. We tried a couple different rooftops and just none of them worked. And so it was, you know, there's a lot of factors that weigh into it. And there's a lot of things that can go wrong. There's a lot of things that you have to kind of weigh and figure out. But as soon as you figure it out and you, everything kind of falls into place, it's just, it's amazing. It's a magical feeling really. That's what I love about it is that good feeling you get never goes away. That's why I keep doing it because it's so fulfilling. It teaches me so many lessons about overcoming stress, overcoming challenges, facing reality, and it pays off. When you find a gap that is perfect and you do it, after all that time of trying and failing and trying and failing, you finally get the one and it feels so good. And that's what I love about rooftop parkour.